in this project we're going to have a look at the fine art beach technique. So I'm going to start with the women's silhouette image. So open the silhouette and then just simply duplicate the background layer by pressing Command or Control and J. Um, so we're going to be working on the background copy layer, so that's layer 1. We're going to zoom in, so we can use Command or Control plus plus. Um, or you can use a zoom tool, whichever you find the easiest, in order to create a selection. So you can use any tool you wish for the selection. Um, I'm going to just use the magnetic lasso tool. You could just as easily use the pen tool. And I'm just going to go around the outside of the silhouette. So I'm just taking my time going around here around a camera so the tool just finds the edges as you go around the image and then just makes that running selection as we continue around the reflection so we keep going around the figure Obviously, you can take more time with this to get your selection a little bit more accurate. And then if you are using the magnetic tool, you can just choose to subtract from selection. Um, and then again, zooming in helps here. You can just take out this central area. So we click to start and again, just go carefully around so that it looks consistent. You can use the backspace key if you make a mistake um, and that will just take you back a single step. So now I've got a reasonable selection. It's not perfect because I have been going faster than I would normally. Once we've done that we can press Command or Control and J and that will let us copy that selection to a new layer. So once we've got that in place, we can turn off layer 2, turn off layer 1, and then just work on the background layer. Um, now we just really want to do a little bit of a patch. So again, just so we can see the whole screen, we'll zoom out a bit and select the patch tool. Um, I could have actually just feathered that selection beforehand, um, so that's an option that you guys can look at when you're doing this yourselves. So I'm just going to go around the woman now. You don't have to be too accurate with this, so you're just really keeping reasonably close to woman and the reflection. So the idea is we go around fairly quickly and finish where we started and then at that point we can just click and drag in order to create the patch that we're, we're looking for um, if you can you can always hold down your shift key um, and that will enable you to keep the horizon reasonably straight the figure will be appearing over where you see the selection, so I don't have to spend too long on ensuring accuracy where that patch is. Um, so the next stage is to simply go on to the filter gallery. So it's filter and then we're actually looking at filter blur and then we can pick up, sorry, filter blur gallery, we're picking up path blur. As that one works quite well for this. So this is the line that you can bend if you wanted to bend the direction of the blur. You can also click and draw in an additional line within um, the area should be standing on. So if the waves or the reflection was hitting a uh, picture space at more of an angle, this can be bent. So you can just move that line um, in order to bend that so that it matches the way if you have got waves in your image so that they're hitting the show obliquely. Um, in terms of speed, we'll take that up and that will create um, a decent amount of blur. 
I've taken it right up to 500%. Depends on your image though, you may want to pull back a little bit. So you can experiment with that until you get an amount of blur that you're particularly happy with. Once that's complete, we just click OK. and wait for that actually to be progressed so um, it does take a fair amount of memory so you might find you have to wait a moment or two for that to t actually happen so we just let that run through and let it take its course it will get there eventually as I said, it is processor intensive, so um, depends really on the spec of your machine and what else you've been doing, how much RAM you've been using. So uh, my machine's been quite busy all morning, and there we have it. So then we can just switch on the visibility of layer 2, and now we have the completed project. Okay, thank you for watching.